as you already know or you may not know uk is mainly services economy okay so 78 percent of their gdp is services and this is gdp by sector agriculture 0.6 percent construction 6.4 production 14 services by 2014 estimated 78.4 percent uk exports 503 billion okay dollars so uk exports heavily and this is actually main export partners to uk germany united states netherlands switzerland france ireland and belgium okay so main exporters are definitely one of main trading partners as you can see is germany so guys uh, have in mind and rest assured that dax will dax index will be heavily impacted by by movement and results of uh gb of uk rep referendum so it's not just about gbp it's also about uh, other equities about other pairs and of course about their partners mainly germany okay so all this is what economics is made of manufactured goods chemicals food beverages tobacco automotive vehicles and components finance entertainment and so on as you already know uh, uk is the fi is financial hub of europe and uh, definitely they want to stay recognized as financial hub okay now uh, the thing is that uh, well let's let's just uh take a quick look at this as you can see official trade statistics statistics show that definitely european union is the main destination for about half of all british goods exports okay so that means that like in between 70 uh, 60 and 80 percent of britain's goods exports are linked to european europe european union membership now if we see a brexit scenario okay this will be actually the best and worst case of brexit as you probably see uh, and you're seeing the thing is that uh, we could uh, well let me be a bit of neutral so uh, the main uh, pre-poll results show that actually it's like 44 to 44 according to financial times my own opinion is that pre main scenario is being priced in so i'm not i'm not saying that uk will remain in 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 european union but what we could see from market movement is actually that uh pre main scenario is being priced in you can see that equities are going up okay bitcoin that is very important guys i'm not sure how many of you know about bitcoin bitcoin is a defensive asset okay it you it appreciates when during risk of i i will i will explain that but let's say that equities are going up okay uh, all yen pairs are going up gbp went up so it means that market is has started to appreciate a little bit of this uk remain or remain scenario now of course uh, we might see also brexit we don't know what will happen guys because there are a lot of people who are undecided but we have two possible brexit scenarios we have brexit worst case and brexit best case so if we see a brexit okay if we see a brexit we have two possible scenarios by 2030 and the source is open europe and sura consulting so brexit worst case say, says that uk gdp by 2030 will be minus 2.2 but you see the scale is going up towards 1.55 so the immediate scenario is telling us that it won't be good for uk but midterm scenario next 10 15 years favors brexit okay 
So that is what I think also. My own opinion is that uh, immediate impact will not be good for UK. But maybe mid-term impact can, be, can turn out to be good. Because there are a lot of reasons for UK to exit European Union. And also there are a lot of reasons for UK to stay. But in my opinion, well, guys, we need to be honest. There are also reasons for them to exit European Union. It's not that bright. It's not a Disneyland, you know. Uh, the uh, European Union is not a Disneyland. We all know what we need to do, what we need to abide, and especially for UK guys, uh, there will be some repercussions if they stay. So they definitely need to renegotiate the terms of your of uh, staying in European Union. So. European Union is a good entity, in my opinion. And I, I personally prefer European Union. But guys, as I said, be clear, it's not a Disneyland. It's not that everything is good and everything is so bright. Okay? So, 